Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge IGCSE Information and Communication Technology Paper 2 for October November 2023. I am going to do task 4 which is presentation. The previous tasks are already done. You can find the link in the description. Create a presentation of 5 slides using guide.rtf. So I am using Microsoft PowerPoint open a blank presentation in order to import the file go to new slide slides from outline select your folder and you have guide here so select guide insert the presentation should have five slides and it should display title and bulleted list so this blank slide you can delete. Place in the header your name, center number and candidate number right aligned. Make sure the header appears in the same position on every slide. So in order to insert the header on the slide, you need to go to master slide, go to view, slide master, go to the topmost slide, select the slide. You can remove these placeholders. Insert a text box on the right side and type your name, center number and candidate number. Make sure it is right aligned. We don't have to include any other items in the master slide so you can close this. Go to view, normal. So you can see the candidate details right aligned on all slides. Next change the layout of the slide with the title age rating system to a title and a table. So this is age rating system you need to change the layout so right click layout you can go for title and content. Create a table that contains three columns and six rows. So click on table here. Three columns and six rows. Click OK. Format the table so that a plain table style is applied with no shading and all internal and external grid lines are displayed. So select the table, you can see the table styles here in table design, click on the scroll bar. This is a table with no shading and no other styles and the grid lines are visible. Copy the data from ratings.csv and place this in the table. So this is ratings, you can display the complete text. Copy this, select the table and paste it. Adjust the column width so that data in column 3 wraps over no more than 3 lines. Adjust the width in such a way. So all these lines are not more than 3 lines. Next format the table so that the height of all 6 rows is set to 2 cm. Make sure the data in the column still wraps over no more than 3 lines. So the height of the row is 2 cm. So select all the rows. In order to set the height of the row go to layout near table design layout now this is the row height you can see table row height so it should be 2 cm and make sure the text is no more than 3 lines Format the table so that the first column of the table has a solid black background with white text. 
column 1, 2 and 3 should look like this. So first let's merge these cells, right click, merge cells. Now you need to give black color as the fill and the text should be white. So you can find it from table design. This is fill color and text color is white. Now you need to change the direction of the text. For that go to layout. You can see text direction. Choose this one. And it should be central in both vertically and horizontally. So click on center and central. And we need to change the font size. I have set it to 32. Now in these two columns you can see all the data are again central line both vertically and horizontally. So select all this on layout, center, vertically and center horizontally. It should look like this. Next on the slide with the title content descriptor select the 7 bulleted items bad language to suggestive themes and format them to look like this. So on content descriptors you need to select these bullets. Now you need to increase the intent level of these bullets you can find here. Increase list level click on it. So it comes as a list under this. Now you need to change the bullet symbol. Go to bullets. Go to bullets and numbering. Customize. You have the different symbols here. You can select this one. Give OK and OK. And these bullets are italic. And the font size is slightly smaller. So you can make it twenty two. On the slide with the title online gaming safety, format the text age rating in the last bullet point so that when it is clicked it goes to the title age rating system. So in online gaming safety the last bullet point so select this it should go to this slide age rating system. So right click link we need to link to the slide in the same presentation so go to place in this document select age rating system you ok. So when you click on this, it will go to this slide. Take a screenshot evidence to show the text links to the correct slide. So you can right click and just click on edit link so that you get the screenshot. And paste it in your evidence document. Now save the presentation and print slides 2 to 5 only as handouts in portrait orientation with two slides to the page. So in order to print you go to file, print option, you need to select two slides and it should be from slides 2 to 5. So specify the slide numbers here 2 to 5.
now for the examination point of view you need to include your candidate details either on the header or footer of the document so go to edit header and footer give your candidate details here so this is the document for printing task 5 printing the evidence document so now the complete tasks are over you can print the evidence document which is shown here so the task is done you can find the link for other document production and database in the description thank you for now